This is a Liang battery. Although its size is small, it has a capacity of 30 amp hours, and its energy density is as high as 280 watt hours per kilogram. So, how about the safety of such a high energy density? So today, I will use it to do lithium battery puncture experiment. Hey friends, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Will. Come for the lithium battery tips and stay for the puncture experiments of a lithium battery. And I will pierce the battery directly with a few iron nails to see what will happen. And before the experiment, in order to ensure the authenticity, we first measure its voltage with a multimeter to prove that it's in the state of power. And now we can see the voltage is 4.24 volts. Okay. Now, let's do it. And now you can see the first nail has been pierced and there's no reaction. Let's continue to see the second one. There's still no reaction. Let's see the third one. Okay, still no reaction. So now let's see the voltage now. So now the voltage is 4.16 volts. With the development of science and technology, the safety problems of lithium batteries are constantly being overcome. However, it's worth noting that not every battery can do this puncture test. There's no liquid inside of this battery. Solely electrolyte is used between the positive and negative electrodes and the diaphragm in the middle is ceramic diaphragm. It will not shrink when it's heated. So when it's punctured, the copper foil and aluminum foil will not contact directly after being squeezed. Otherwise, there will be internal short circuit in danger. This experiment is also to explain the eternal principle of the z cell. You should not do this experiment easily. After all, many lithium batteries cannot afford this experiment. This is the end of today. If you think our video is helpful, likes and subs appreciated. See you next time. Bye.